Hi, my name is Mike McCoy, amateur radio operator, singer and songwriter, and my amateur call is WD4AM, Whiskey Delta 4 Alpha Mike. Another presentation in amateur radio about commercial radios. I collect and restore Midlands, Motorola's, various different to commercial radios have been taken out of the service. We're talking about programming the Motorola, the Radius GP300. Here's one already in the base, the charger. These units are very handy, 5 watt units and very nice units. Now moving around you see the other radio, the Midlands, the XTRs, Syntec 2s, the ICOM, and here's my weather station and also my weather monitor. It's 39 degrees at the time of 11.23 p.m. on March the 18th. Now we're around the area, just going around the shack. Emergency Communication Center where we do our Sky One weather report. I bet you haven't seen one of these in a long time. My old first class radio telephone operator certificate. And also the Sky One certifications. Now back over here to the software. This is the GP300 rib. I need to connect the battery into the unit. It's very hard to do. I'm trying to hold the, the camera in video too. You can see here, the unit's here, and it goes right on the battery holder. Let me set this down just a second. On the keyboard. Plug the battery. There you go, and you see the lights is on. Let's make sure the radio is cut on. Now we go to the software. This is for Windows XP only. Click, shortcut. First you get the GP300 exec, and you just ignore it, and you go over to the setup, as you can see here. <clears throat> the first thing you want to do, you want to go into the menu, F10, and then you want to configure basically configure the radio F9 setup computer configuration and you hit F3 you see I got C colon backslash with the backup the serial port is COM1 okay if you don't have that already typed in you can type that in then you can hit F8 for save all right, let's go back to the main menu. Hit F10. Again. And we want to hit F3 and F2. We go hit F3, which is get, say, program code plugs. These are the frequencies. And then we want to hit F2 to read the data. Okay, now it's reading the data. As you can see, it's corresponding with the unit. And it's a working. You see the green light? It's reading the radio. These are good little handheld units. And now that uh, they've been up replaced with newer radios, and the FCC has narrow band, a lot of these analog units, repeaters, Kenwood, Motorola's and all of that's going to be out here in the market. You see we got a graph bar right down here that reads. It's reading the frequencies as they call the code, code plugs. And it's going to take just a second here. Once again it's 
nice to be here where we can talk about programming various different units also it has the GM 300 we have that program will be uh, hopefully to get on here next and I know on YouTube there's a lot of uh, GP 300 different people programming and doing videos but this is my video here and you see it's, it's reading the scale we're getting up there to 50 percent you see the rib here on the back here you know very easy you have the uh, port here the plug port data plug port and also right over here the series port which is COM1 now on some of the programs you can use the older computers like the 98 like his satellite uh, computer I got back here in the background and then we have computers in different areas programming computers just about anymore ladies and gentlemen it's a computer age it takes just about everything in radios communications with the internet satellite communications amateur radio has changed a lot and you really have to love radio if you become an amateur radio operator a lot of the young people don't even want to go through the process of attaining license because of cell phones and Japanese make it easy stuff you know okay we're getting up here about uh, 100 percent once we get up here to 100 percent then we go read see what we got on this unit here this handheld the frequencies okay here we go all right and what we go to do we go go back F10 to the menu Okay. Okay. Back to the menu, and we go hit F4. Now F4 is change view, create radio co, co plug data. Once again, that be F4, and then we hit F4. We go into L5 mode confirmation frequencies. Okay, the frequency should pop up. And there they are. Here we are. And the fresh frequency wrong here have amateur simplex frequency 44.7750 simplex. Then you got your squelch, and then you have your busy, your battery saver. The old phone private signal system is none none, and also you have your tone squelch, which is 151.4 uh, on transmit. Now you want to toggle in between. You can hit enter down here. Watch this. You can just toggle down. Here we go, toggling down, and we're back up here now if we want to see what frequencies and we have 10 program frequencies in this unit and for that you hit um, uh, the mode you hit the F4 which is right, we're in number one frequency that's two 442.225 that's a repeater three that is a uh, repeater and that is a uh, simplex that is a repeater and seven eight nine ten okay and we want to go back the one now say if you want to add another channel or frequency you can hit F8 which is here and that's your change view or mode utility and you can add another channel. A lot of these goes up to 17, 18 channels. It all depends on what type model, up to 15. And then what you do, you go back to the main menu, say if you program something in, and then you would hit, um, after that you would press um, at the F8 when you add the new frequency you press at F4 and F4 would change 
between the channels and, and F3 save and F8 to program. You hit F8 to program and do radio and then F2 to save the data. There you have it. So this is a presentation ladies and gentlemen of the GP300 for Windows XP. Seven threes and God bless and hope you pick up one of these radios and get software and enjoy a program in old commercial radios. This is WD4AM in Lenore, North Carolina. Seven threes and God bless and keep it on YouTube, the Real McCoy channel.